What's going on, YouTube family? Um, I wanted to put this video up because I'm getting, um, motherfuckers is really making my Agent Orange act up, man, like for real. And I try to stay in a peaceful place. I try to stay peaceful with, you know, with how I am in life. But let me just throw this out there. Don't for one second think it's anything um, vulnerable about me or do I tolerate disrespect because I don't. Not at all. I'm not going to give you no disrespect, but don't for a second think you're going to come on my page to vent your disrespect. You can take your ass on somewhere else. Not impressed. Don't care. You ain't going to do shit. Don't nobody around this motherfucker give a fuck about who you know, how tough you are, any of that bullshit. It don't matter here. Ain't no fear here, homeboy. So keep your keyboard clicking and all that shit. I'm from a different generation. We don't talk about pulling up and all that fuck shit majority of you motherfuckers do today any goddamn way. We ain't worried about that. I see you and I will bust you in your motherfucking mouth. But outside of that, I just want peace, man. Let me be. Don't comment on my page anymore about my excitement over a slam because I was happy. You under the under dig. And my background and things I've been through really ain't allowed for too much happiness in life. So if I'm, I'm, in, I'm 43 now and I'm happy and I want to show it, I'm going to show it. But don't for a second mistake that shit for a weakness, man. It's none of that. I made it to 43 because I'm a smart individual. I made it out the bricks because I'm a smart individual, you dig? Was I the hardest? No. Was I trying to be the most gangster, this nigga and all that shit? Fuck all that shit. Gangsters normally die first, dummy. So don't come at me on all my shit talking about JP or I was excited about meeting him and my money built his ride and uh, if I spent money with him, he ain't no star. I was excited to shake his hand. I was excited to shake his hand because in, in the realm of things of where I'm from and who I listen to and who I look up to, JP along with so many others, he is up there. You probably just jealous you not on that man's level. And then to say that my money helped build his build you sound so fucking stupid you bitch nigga you and think about it i was at slam do you know how many vehicles was over there how many companies showcasing their stuff guess what they sell products to get money to make money to pay their bills to pay their employees and to build and showcase their products that's what their money does. Down for Sound Shop is JP shit. He worked to build it where it is. And he's in the upper echelon of things in the base community. A lot of people get on him because he didn't build his truck. Who gives a fuck? He has it. He owns it. And guess what? You don't. But don't be a fake ass base head. Congratulate that man. Congratulate that man over there if he got 110 or a noob in the gang. I hate you fake motherfuckers who, cause yo, y'all got all oh, no, so many, many speakers and this and that. Man, I promise you, let me let me clue you in on something real fast. All that shit that you have will not stop your ass from getting beat. I tell you that to your face. I will be a slam 2020. Any issues, come holler at me. Because I'm a respectful person. I'm a respectful dude. But I stand mine. It ain't going to be no disrespect on my page. I show love and I'm going to give love regardless. But the second that line is crossed, we'll have an issue and a problem quick. Don't come here hating. That's what girls do. Don't come here worrying about what another man got or what he doing or how he looking. Or that, that's what women do. So you sound like you got bitch in your blood, nigga. You sound real feminine right now. Shit, my daughter don't even talk on motherfuckers that like that. Worry about what you're doing in life and you'll, you'll progress to be where somebody like JP or EXO or the people at Sundown. Shit, Sundown had multiple whips and things on display over there. Wonder why? Because they run a business. Yeah, their goal is to interact with the fans and do different things like that, but their goal they didn't open a business to be a charity. They opened a business because they want to leave their mark in what they believe in. They didn't go open a McDonald's stand or in that. I'm pretty sure they could have. But they got in the stereo lane and they doing what they do. JP built what he's doing from the ground up. Proof is in the pudding. Go watch his videos. 
Now he got a lot of haters, I get that. But don't come on my page and hate it and wrestle with him because I'm not one of his haters. But I'm not gonna sit and defend a grown man. I don't know him. But over the years when I've had questions and things like that, I would just pop an email, maybe he'd answer, maybe he wouldn't. But every time he did respond. So I respect somebody like that. I wonder why, because that's called good customer service. Because one day, maybe, hey, this guy would buy something from me. My next build is coming from down for sound. My box is being built through them. My subs is being ordered through them. If I don't directly order them through Sundown, but Sundown recommends him. So that's where I'll be spending that. When I do my DC build, I will still be buying stuff from downforsoundshop.com. And I ain't advertising for the man. I'm just giving you my personal experiences. If I had bad personal experiences with him, I wouldn't be shopping there. I wouldn't be telling you this and that. And let me say this now for the record. I have never purchased a thing from downforsoundshop.com, but I'm going to. I was this close to getting my speakers from there until I turned left and made a, a different uh, purchase. But don't for a second come on my page with all that negative shit, man, because it make me act like this and I don't want to be this person. I don't want to have hate and anger in my heart and everything like that. I want to enjoy my life, my day, my kids, my family. It's just so sad that this is what things has come to. You fake ass, base head ass motherfucker. Base head supposed to have love. They supposed to hate on somebody else because they ain't got what you got and all this and this and that. Them same people who just was walking around over at Slamology, who was, do you think that they didn't want to have ultra systems and shit like that? Shit, I wanted to have, but it's not for everybody. That's why the people who showcase it, they showcase it. They give demos, they give out cars, they give out information. It's product testing and all that going on over there. JP was not the only one over there. But it just seems like they, uh, he's the one that people stay focused on. Oh, he was charging to get in his van. This and that. I would have paid to get in that motherfucker. It's a promo thing. It, it, it's getting stuff out there. Getting it, Whether you like it or not, it worked. Because guess what? His audience was right there in line. And shit, I even heard a couple people got demos without him paying. So it wasn't even like that. So just go away, man. Don't 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 come on this right here for it, man. Cause I promise you, man, you don't want this work. You don't want these problems, none of that. I don't want to start making ill comments to people and talking foul on YouTube and all that. But man, look, fuck all that. I'm a man first. Don't care, don't come here playing your little games, you know what I'm saying, and all that shit. Cause ain't no games here, boy. We're always remembering life. Leave people the fuck alone because you don't know what that person don't been through in life and you just might be that switch that they flip on and jump on your ass. Leave people the fuck alone. This is wrong with you motherfuckers today. Y'all so talking, run your motherfucking mouth so goddamn much and all that bullshit. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. Leave people alone. Leave people the fuck alone. You never know who might snap on you and end your motherfucking life. That motherfucker might be having all kinds of bad shit going on. Child support, payments, car, gas, whatever. Wife at home tripping, ain't fucking at home. Whatever it may be, that might be you. You gonna get shit took out on your ass over you running your mouth. Stay in your lane and leave people alone. And if you ain't got nothing positive to say, if you got respect in your heart, you know the end of that sentence. How's it go? Don't say nothing at all. But I'm going to end this on a positive note. Um, Andrew Mims, uh, we're shipping your stuff out today, brother. I'm going to send you, I'm going to email your tracking number and everything like that. And uh, you are right next. I wish you was a little closer, man. We would have drove it over to you. That would have been a heck of a YouTube video, man. Uh, we would have drove it right over there to you. You ain't too far from me, but we'll make it happen one day, man. We're going to link the families up and everything and get this basin going on, man, like we like to do so much. All right, y'all. So. Remember, man, try to stay as positive as you can because positivity brings you positivity. When you want to be negative or be ultra hard as, guess what? It's somebody who wants to be just as hard. It's somebody who is just as gangster. Who is, and it's somebody having an even worse day than you. Show respect, man. It'll get you a longer. It, it'll get you ways, ways further in life than being negative all the damn time and talking about other people and 
showing this and this and that. I don't need your love. I don't need your friendship. I don't need none of that shit. Fuck all that. And kiss my ass. You heard? If you ain't in, uh, part of Team Lewis 23, if you ain't part of the Basehead community, if you ain't D-Shack, if you ain't none of that, man, I don't want no problems with you and I don't want to know you. Just keep it moving, man. I got love for those who got love for me. And if you don't got love for me, it's what it is. Peace out, man.